Is that good? Is that good in there? Say, do you like singing and stuff? Welcome to an absolutely gorgeous morning here in the desert. Look at this incredible scenery behind me. Look at the, the mountain. I promise that's not like photoshopped or whatever. That's just what it looks like here. I've recently found a juice called Silent Topic from Steve's Juice Line. And this juice has sparked so many emotions from me that I kind of want to do things a little bit different and kind of break down the fourth wall of me being a crazy guy on the internet and kind of do something a little bit more genuine. So this juice right here is from Steve's Juice Line and it's called Silent Topic. There's information on how to get it down in the description of this video. Silent Topic is a very special flavor. This is a Fruit Loops and milk flavor. In the early days of cloud chasing vaping, there was a boom of what's called cereal flavors, which are juices that are trying to mimic various cereals with milk or without milk. Prior to cereal vapes coming into, into fruition, there was just mainly tobacco flavors and a few fruit flavors. And then somebody, I don't know who, was like, I'm gonna make some cereal juices. And it really shaped what was possible with vaping. Is there a plane going over me? Oh, oh, perfect. Hello, enjoy your journey. So cereal vapes really shaped what was possible with vaping, which, you know, prior to that, people thought this, this, and this, and then now it's big and you can do things and do things that are outside of the norm and outside of what we were originally thinking. This is the start of elaborate juices like dessert flavors. Prior to cereal vapes coming into the scene, there wasn't a lot of dessert juices and it was all tobaccos and fruits. Cereal vapes changed everything as far as vaping as we know it. And this is around the time that RDAs were just coming into the scene and cloud chasing was coming into the scene. And I actually know the guy uh, who invented cloud competitions. Big shout out to Jason over at BMI. Uh, Jason's a great guy. And I know we haven't talked in a while because I took a little bit of a uh, sabbatical from vaping, but thank you for being a good friend and a wonderful person. Serial vapes always kind of hold this very nostalgic moment in time for me. The way that Steve mixes juice is so far superior to any other juice that I've reviewed in the past. And flavor notes are so delicate and beautiful. Fruit Loops in milk, which is something that I don't like in real life. I don't like Fruit Loops, but I like to vape them. It's something that kind of holds this moment in time for me. And Steve has perfectly encapsulated that in a far superior way than what we had in the early days of vaping. The first cereal milk juice I vaped on was called Last Stand, and I believe it was a house juice from some crappy vape shop in Rochester, New Hampshire. This is many, many, many years ago. And I had it, and this was the first juice I had ever vaped on, and it, it, it changed me. It changed my life right there, because this opened the door to, oh, this is a thing and I can I can vape and this is uh, wow and it completely changed my life now if you've been watching me for a long time um, you probably know of my best friend Casey who passed away um, Casey shot himself in the head a couple years ago and he was there with me on the first day that I ever vaped it was just this moment in time where we just got to be and this juice reminds me of that. It reminds me of a simpler time and where, you know, everything was just kind of starting. You know, I, I was working in television at the time and I had a YouTube channel, but it wasn't, you know, like anything like I'm doing now. And uh, I, I was part of an art gallery. I was a 10% owner of an art gallery. So I would just make artwork and film myself doing it. And it was the beginning of like where everything really started working. And then now quite a few years later, I own a beautiful home with my wife and I get to I, I get to just have fun for a living and build cool vehicles and do artwork and make cool videos and jump over stuff and we're working on these big big projects now where we're trying to build a uh, a motocross park and and you know run a dealership and all this stuff like that and this juice reminds me 
of where everything started, the humble beginnings of just goofing off with my friends and what light designs and what all of this originally started as. And Steve has encapsulated a moment of time for me in this juice. And that really is very emotional and very sacred. This is a moment in time with the information and knowledge that the vapor industry has now. The knowledge of mixing, the knowledge of nick ratios, the knowledge of proportions, the knowledge of setups. I, uh, I choose to use kind of an old setup for this video. I have the Goon Low Pro with a single coil. I have a 510 glass drip tip and uh, a Druga Foxy mod, which came later on, but I, I just like, I like the Druga. It's nostalgic, it's beautiful, and it holds a special spot in my heart. I would highly, highly recommend this juice for all vapors. Um, some juices are, you know, oh, I think this is a good beginner juice, or oh, I think this is a good advanced juice. This is a perfect juice for everyone. I literally vape this all day. This is my all-day vape, and I, I love it. And I think if you are looking for your first juice to, you know, get you into a, a healthier alternative to smoking cigarettes, or in my case, a productive coping mechanism for dealing with life, this is a great juice. When I first started vaping, I was going through a lot of stuff. And yeah, there were some really good, simpler time things, but there was a lot of darkness too. And I was heavily deep into cutting myself and, and really had a very big battle staying on the planet. And I found vaping and it provided a coping mechanism, something to do with my hands. You know, I could build coils and I can build my own mods and make my own juice and do all these things. It gave me something to do that was productive and I could do in my downtime. I lived in the frozen tundra of the middle of nowhere in, 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 in New Hampshire at the time. So the second it got dark or got cold, there was nothing to do. There's absolutely nothing. That's it, your life stops and it's just you with your thoughts. Vaping really helped me with that. It really helped me get through very hard times in my life. And flavors like this hold this certain sacredness to me because it takes me back to a time and it makes me incredibly grateful that I lived through that time. Now, if you've been watching my channel for some time, you know that I film pretty much my entire life between Light Designs and Bad Neighbor Supply Co. So you guys have seen the ups and downs of my life and been by my side through many years of, of you know, life's trials and tribulations and the highs and lows. And I'm incredibly grateful for that. And I took some time off from the vapor industry and didn't make vape videos for a couple of years because I needed a little bit of a break. This just makes me really grateful to be back. And it makes me really grateful to be doing what I'm doing for a living and be in the position that I am. We haven't talked about it much, but I'm working on a really big project with some of my friends right now. And I'm working on opening a motorsports park where we uh, will have uh, motorcycle rentals and uh, a track uh, for you know uh, uh, motocross and uh, and a freestyle motocross area and uh, a proving ground for off-roading vehicles and all this stuff. And I'm working on all these really big things with the most incredible people that I have ever met, and I'm incredibly grateful for it. And it pains my heart that um, Casey can't see the things that that I'm working on um, with the group of people. And I know this, this vape video has kind of taken a turn and you guys are expecting me to break things and be funny and everything, but like, if you are going through things, um, which you guys have watched me go through things, if you guys are going through things, you're not alone. And you, you really value yourself if you continue to push through because I truly believe that you go through difficult times in your life to be able to have a testimony to go out and help other people. I battled with self-mutilation and, and suicide and all these kind of things, and if I didn't go through those kind of things, I wouldn't have the compassion and understanding to try my best to share my life experiences to help others out there. And I, and I want you to know that you are created uniquely on this planet there's never been anybody like you and there never will be anybody like you you are your own unique being and you deserve to be on the planet and you are loved and whether you don't think you know it or not there is someone out there that loves you very deeply and their life would be significantly worse without you on the planet there is 
the number to the suicide hotline down in the uh, description of this video and then feel free uh, there's also my email address down there as well if, if you want to chop it up um, and then feel free to use the comment section as well to uh, kind of interact with your peers and stuff like that and I'll be I read every single comment that comes to all all the channels I see every single one Steve is also one of the reasons that I'm here today on the planet I went through a really tough time and Steve was always there for me to listen to me, you know, really struggle and really battle. And um, Steve is one of the reasons that I am still alive today. And he helped save my life. And uh, I just really appreciate it. I, I really appreciate each and every one of you. And I know this vape video is taking kind of a, a turn for the more sentimental and not so much about the juice, but that's what this juice does for me is it brings me back to a time um, where this all started and makes me reflect on uh, on everything so thank you very much for watching and thank you everyone for everything I really appreciate it and remember that you're you're not alone and uh, thanks Steve for sending this juice and thanks even more for being my friend so with all that being said uh, I know this video wasn't very funny <laughs> uh, but Thank you very much for watching. There's information to everything down in the description of this video. Um, I, if you want to come see me play music, I am playing the second Saturday of January at Coffinwood in Pahrump, Nevada. Um, and a, a bunch of other places that I can't think of right now. But uh, cheers. Thank you guys so much for watching and uh, I'll see you on the next one.